Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most <coughs> ghost. Take some time and subscribe, guys. Got a video for you here today. Take some time and subscribe. This is going to be a, you know, a bit of a downer considering uh, the level of, of superstar this guy was. Um, Matt Anawai, the brother of Roman Reigns, Joe Anawai, um, last week sometime, I think it might have been Monday night, or he was found dead due to uh, heart failure and congestive heart problems they reported that you know about three years ago this guy went for tests and you know that's pretty decent amount of time that he went about three years after they they found this problem so much respects do go out to the Anawai family. You know, this is uh, Sika's son there, Roman Reigns' brother. Um, I really do hope that this lights a fire under Roman Reigns. And I, I kind of hope, you know, Roman Reigns is already on top, but... His his skills aren't really that of a, of a top guy. I I really hope that he can kind of bust down now and take take that passion he has and kind of you know kind of dedicate his his passion to his brother and you know find that fire inside of him that can translate into. Uh, wrestling in the ring, on the mic, and different things like that. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, I, I kind of went a different way about it. Um, you know, Matt, Matt, who was uh, in ECW and WWE a couple of different times, as uh, Rosie from 3 Minute Warning, and also... The superhero in training. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't think he was on any of these pay-per-views. It might have been late 03. But uh, if he even had a pay-per-view match, I'm not sure. I know they did. Yeah, it was uh, Survivor Series 2002, actually. The tag team table match against uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, Jeff Hardy, and Spike. Um, Rico, Jamal, and Rosie. Three minute warning if you guys weren't familiar with that. It was uh, a group. Pretty much Eric Bischoff's henchmen. And for instance, he would say, this has gone on for too long. Just about three minutes too long. Hold on. Did I just say three minutes? And in would come these massive men. I mean, these guys were north of 300. Probably 320, 350 about. And they, they dressed like thugs. They had, you know, cargo pants on and, you know, t-shirts on. But... These guys were, were Samoan. And the other guy, Jamal, was also Umaga, in case you guys didn't know. So, RIP to three minute warning. It's been a long time since I've watched a bit of them. But, you know, three minute, more, three minute warning would go on. And they, they didn't really accomplish much in the, in the industry of WWE, but. They did have great success as Bischoff's henchmen. 
I'm pretty sure they had a match against Billy and Chuck one time. And like I said, it didn't really uh, amount to much. Um, sooner than later, Jamal was out of the company and Rosie stuck around. He would become partners with the Hurricane. And he became the superhero in training. Looking like the uh, Hamburglar kind of something like that. Uh, just a, uh, I, I think it was just a big rib on him. Of, of course, superhero in training stands for shit. <laughs> so, you know, Rosie, he, he stayed out of the business after, you know, 03, 04. And he didn't really do much after that. Not that I can recall, but. Rest in peace. Um, another Samoan legacy member has passed away today. Or not today, but last week. And, you know, the list is not that long. But the, these guys are all great in the ring. If you look at the Samoans, they all had several different gimmicks. Mostly as heels, and they all had great success in WWE. I heard a story uh, last couple of days that uh, I guess the these guys weren't too happy in WWE, and uh, Bischoff was trying to steal. I don't know if it was the Head Shrinkers or Afa and Sika, and... Uh, just imagine how different that would have uh, turned turned things about uh, for future Samoans. That uh, if they would have, you know, destroyed that bridge, the Samoans to WWE, and uh, of course they all, you know, threw it water under the bridge and whatnot. But imagine if all that happened went down. The Samoans went to WCW and. Uh, became main attractions over there. That would have been huge for WCW to have that lineage of the Samoans. Um, you know, you had Yokozuna and the, possibly The Rock going to WCW in 96, 97. That would have been incredible. Um, you know, I, I don't know so much about The Rock going to WCW and all that, but, you know, Rocky Johnson and... Uh, the High Chief, Peter Maivia, did have uh, a very strong connection to Mr. McMahon. So, with all this said and done, I really do hope that this lights a fire under Roman's ass to uh, kind of prove to himself and kind of prove to his brother that he, he really does have what it takes. You know, there are a lot of ass kissers in WWE that probably give... Roman, a lot of props, a lot of this, a lot of that, saying, oh, good job, good job, you handle it well. You handle it well. You're getting booed out of the building every night, and uh, for some reason, McMahon refuses to turn him heel. Um, you know, I, I really hope he can probably say to McMahon and be like, man, we, we got to turn this, we've got to turn this story heel, you know. Um, Braun Strowman is getting a strong reaction, and Roman Reigns is getting a strong negative reaction. Do a double turn with them. I, I mean, I said it a while back that Roman Reigns needed to lose that mania and, and just go ballistic, go crazy, and uh, show a little bit of wild side, a little bit more aggression. Um, you, you can't come up short every night and, and be fine with it. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Take some time and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.